Hello, this is Indigenous Monstros. Nope. Hello, this is Monstrositus X. And I'm back, people. I'm back, bitches! Nah. Um, this, I'm just trying to show you what I've been up to. Um, when I was doing, I was putting advertisements on the buses. I was putting on these signs. These were 11 by 28s. I cut 11 by 11 off. And I get something to draw on. Something to draw on. And 11 by 11 leaves me with 11 by 17. So I have something to practice. And this is way heavier stock than the two pound or one and a half pound, whatever that y'all use for professional drawing. So let me get right to it because I know this is going to go by fast. I already tried this once and it ate up all my time so um i'm drawing this is about might might is my superhero comic book that i'm going to be coming out with i'm scanning these drawings into the computer so that i can show y'all and well i've already scanned this one into the computer because this one is a, a basically a blank and you can see up here i don't know okay yeah you can see up here predators harm and slaughter well, those three names are three different characters built sort of like uh, Sabretooth. And this is going to be my blank for designing my those three characters. So I'm scanned this into the computer, and I have designed these three characters. <laughs> but they're my bad guys, so I can't show you any of them. I have to show save those for the book. I didn't intend it that way, it's just that these characters have been in my head for so long that now that I'm drawing consistently again, the first thing that's pouring out of my head are the badass ones, <laughs> and that's the bad guys. So, this, these guy, this guy is a blank. I was going to keep going further. To tell you the truth, he was supposed to be my drawing of Might. I was going to draw Might, designing him totally, but the way his shoulders and his traps was so huge, I said, nah, Mike can't be that big, so instead, I decided that this would be m my form for my saber-tooth sized characters, not my saber-tooth like characters, around that size, his build, this is my build for my saber-tooth sized characters. Uh, none of my characters is based on anybody's characters. I create my characters from original thought processes. And I'm going to show you how right now. Um, EVS, this is the character you didn't know that you created, but you did. <laughs> um, this right here is a character uh, that EVS correct created but he didn't know he created he created a couple of those one named uh mean streak and i know you're gonna remember that evs and this one is called evor garant now you know garantophilia <laughs> evs talked about garantophilia with um about uh on our jack show with uh narwhal uh, dating some older woman to get at this younger woman. So, anyway, Ivor Garant is ever old. Um, Garantophilia is someone who likes to uh, have a sexual attractive to older, fe older people. And Garant, I, this is how I look, how I create my characters. When I hear or see a word that interest piques my interest and in being that I've been doing this very same thing since 95 uh it comes second nature to me now so whenever I hear it it's like, like an explosion goes off in my brain and uh I have to create I have to figure it out I have to look it up and find out what the word means so that I can create the character so Garant basically just means having to do with old age so being that Garant means old, I called him Evor Garant. And that just means ever old. So, ever old. He's this old ass man. He walks with two canes. He's hunched over. He's uh, very skinny. This is not skinny enough. You can see his arms. They're not skinny enough. I want him very skinny. 
decrepit. He's very old. And then when he does something, his uh, abilities make him into this powerful wizard. He's a magical being and he becomes this powerful wizard. And then he can transform again to this super type. Like you think of, think of Mumra, <laughs> the ever living. So, okay, this is what, but I have, I have stuff written down here on the bottom, but I can't tell, show you all that because that's giving away too much of the character. I was going to say EVS you can have him because it's your character. <laughs> I put too much into him. He's such a came out to be such a great character in concept that I can't wait to get him in my book sooner or later. It has to be later because uh, there's no place for me to fit him into the story at this moment. But being that Mike is going to be an ongoing uh, comic book uh, gateway to all of my other characters, uh, he's going to show up sometime. But thank you, EVS. Mean Streak, though, he's yours. Mean Streak is just, you could think of him as a Slade Wilson kind of character from Teen Titans. And he just a vengeful person, whoever, if it can be a politician, anybody. If he takes offense of something that you've done and it made headlines or whatever, he'll... He has a mean streak in him, and he'll seek vengeance against you, he'll torture you, torment you. He'll destroy you in every way possible. You could be a government, you could be a corporation, you could be an individual, you could be anyone. It doesn't matter anything. If he takes a, a dislike to you, he's coming after you. Now that one you could have, EVS. That's all you. <laughs> I'm giving that away because I have too many characters. There's, I have over two thousand characters here. I'm going to I'm going to do another video right after this one after I finish showing y'all what I've been up to. So this is the second level and down here was supposed to be the third but I had to redo them. <laughs> I had to redo them someplace else. This wasn't it was trust me. He's badass. So um these are characters I was just doing for you can see they're on messed up paper. You can see how tore up the paper is. This is strictly so that I could practice my inking. That's what this was for. So don't don't even worry about this. This is just practice, trying to get my my forms and my creativity back, and uh, and making sure I can get my arms and everything. So it was very. I was practicing my fingers and hands because that's what I found on a live stream on on a on a story time live stream when I was doing some drawings that I had problems remembering my shortcuts to how I drew my hand. So now I uh, practice and practice and so that's what got me doing all of this. I've been cutting up these signs. You can see old signs, <laughs> very heavy cardstock. And um, let me see, here's, here's a, uh, oops, here's, I, I did this before but the video, ran too long and I'm trying to get this one faster and I'm all sweaty okay this one hear that flimsy paper now that's 11 by 17 and here 11 by 17 of my board see the sign advertisement on the back well remember how heavy and thick that is this was supposed to be a drawing this is uh, the monster, the Frankenstein monster from um, Graveyard Shift. But I realized I was going to put the, 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 what's his name, Brom. See, this is the guy with the Mohawk. And this is the big dude in the back. And Brom is supposed to be this guy right here. I'm going to put an eye patch on him and a cigarette. And then I was going to have the, the girl and then the Dracula dude right here. And then I was going to have that Ruiner dude in the back. But I didn't know his characters. I don't know who the Ruiner is or what's his purpose. But then he said that he's come to the planet. He's the last of his kind come to save the, us from the infestation. So I figured he's a good guy. And so he's his Hulk. So then I said, okay, I can't draw him like that. Because I don't know the reference sizes of the Frankenstein monster and the big dude he calls Rekka. I don't know how big he is compared to him, so I can't just draw him. So I'm going to do a compilation page where they're all doing some action scenes, action shit, and uh, that way they don't have to be the same size. They just have to be represented. 
so I'm gonna redo this and uh and and then uh so then I just was messing around and I I intended to do a mite but again he came out just a smidge too thick in the trapezoid area. So yeah, um this came out pretty good. Just messing around. I wanna have something in the back blown up and on fire or something like that but uh yeah it's just a quick drawing i scanned this into the computer so i could show it to you in a better way this is just a quick very quick drawings these are very quick sketches just so that i can get my head my shoulders because i had a certain way of drawing my form and even that arm didn't come out the way i like it i usually draw my forearms a little bit bulkier looking than that and uh it came out all right but I didn't need it needs something so let me get this out the way I don't want to stay in this form too long just want to show you I've been working on my girls I had to know know that I can consistent, consistently draw attractive females and uh, track practicing face positions head positions so yeah and uh, this one I this one this guy I put in after I, I drew this girl up here i was really working on that those arm position and uh hips and stuff like that but uh and then this guy just very quick very extremely quick posing positioning just to get it see if i still got it and i know i got it it's it's there like i said my hands that that's not me i don't draw hands like that see this is me that's me that quick yeah so i gotta I've been practicing. I've gotten better. Don't worry. Hands are not going to be a problem. This is stuff that I've mastered. It's in my head. I just got to get my hand, eye, my the, my mind's eye to my hand to do what my mind's eye tell it to do. <laughs> and I've been doing that. Don't worry about it. It's 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 there. So here's a bunch more of uh, eleven by. See these are the signs. You can see I already docked myself. So um. Um, this is a uh, drawing that I was going to do, uh, oh, let me see, these are all just rough sketches practicing my monster creativity, I scanned this all to the computer so that I can either do a more elaborate stuff on it, practice inking, I want to practice both in the computer and uh, uh, traditionally. Just practicing my forms, doing things quickly, getting my forms down quickly, and uh, and seeing if I can pull off what I'm trying to pull off. I know I have to do, do, do over 100 pages for my first book because I want a 68-page first book, 68-page giant size edition for my first book, but my book is going to consist of three books, and the second two books are going to be... Uh, uh, 22 pages, 24 pages, so the second book, and it's all going to be my first book, so, and, um, and then after that, I'll do 68 pages, and if I want to ever do floppies, then I can break them down into three separate books, that's why I'm doing it this way, it's not to undercut anybody, but I'm definitely going to have to charge a little bit more for that first book, because that 100 pages, I can't, I can't undercut um, EVS and everybody, they're doing 48 pages, I can't give away 40, uh, 120 pages for, for $25, so it's probably going to be like around 35, 40 bucks for that first book, but you're going to get, if you can get good sales, we're going to have a major, we're going to give away extra covers, we're going to separate the book, we're going to do all kinds of stuff, and um, I'm going to have companion books, because I have all of these characters that I want to show, that I'm going to be giving them showing y'all and, and uh sharing y'all gonna be getting down with and i'm telling you the bad guys is everything these are just rough monster forms sea creature stuff i work very rough extremely rough when i trying to find myself you can see that's extremely rough i'm trying to find the image remember i taught myself everything nobody taught me anything except for how to draw the Marvel way, and that's right here. Yeah. See? How to draw the Marvel way. 
this is what got me started. I had to steal it to get it. And you look and see, it's coming apart. See, the cover is coming apart. But the inside is still pristine. Well, not pristine. But you can still read it. There's no pages missing. There's nothing's torn, just a little yellowing. Hard cover. Still got everything in here. I never drew in it. I got it from a library, so if there's anything drawn in it, that's from somebody else, not me. I respected this book. It taught me a lot. It still has to teach me some stuff because I have to relearn. I haven't read this since I was a kid. <laughs> so I have to go back through and start figuring out how to my spotting my blacks and all of that stuff. So, and this is I was doing my head examination. I've been doing all of that. So, yeah, um, we get back to that another time. But yeah, so, uh, let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Um, let me show you. I showed y'all a cyber frog work. Cyber frog work that I did back in a few months back, right? I was working on a cyber frog. This is, I showed y'all this. This is up on there. And uh, this is Mike. This is his, working towards his new design. You're going to see his new design. It's just like this, except for more detail. And uh, this is this, the Dane character that I was creating. Remember I said that I believe that he, uh, uh, um, so, um, EVS said that the character, uh, that Chael Sin made a mistake by making Cyber Frog. It was supposed to be humanoid. So, uh, when she messed up and was about to be kidnapped, she sent an SOS and, um, uh, it took a few years before he can get here. They, he said it's been 20 years, so he could he, they could have, he could have just gotten to the planet maybe five years ago, and he's trying to find Cyber Frog. Maybe they, some things got damaged in the crash, and I showed you this before too, but I gave him a name since then, either Mohan Grin or Dozan Grin, and I didn't give a name to the sin, the, the uh, to the ship, so I have to come up with that, but, uh, the poldrons and everything I did, so, here was, uh, here was what I was doing with it, here was where I went with it, uh, you can see, uh, this is, uh, this is right here, um, what's his name, Dane, this is Dane, this is the shoulder poldrons, I, I, I did went, I kind of streamlined them slightly, and then they had those covers that popped off, and then they have cables that come up and help, like, direct them, and then that, this is the ball, that energy ball right there, it's blue, and there's another one in the bottom, and it transfers energy so that he can fire his cannon, and the same thing with his arm, has a ball down in there that fires the energy up to that dish, where his hand transforms into this dish, and he can, uh, uh, use his cannons, but it's too close to the edge of the page, so what I'm going to have to do is rotate this up. I was going to try and shift it all over, but that's too much work. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen, so what I'm going to do is rotate his arm back this way, just slightly, and then he'll go up this way, and I'll give me just enough room so that I can show him blasting off, and then right behind him, I'm going to move because his arms are spread just like Salamandroids is. See, and I don't want that mimic like that. So I'm gonna turn him, rotate him, put him on this side. His arm is gonna be up and he's gonna be kind of looking out from beneath his arm, it's fire, spitting fire. And, um, and then I'm gonna have Vespus over here. There's gonna be a big one right behind him. And Cyber Frog is down here on the bottom. You can see his big eyes right there. I think you might be able to see it. And his mouth is open. He's going to be, uh, his tongue is going to be, but I'm going to shrink this, make it about half the size, uh, take a third off, make him smaller so I can get more of his arm and his leg and his foot in there so that you can see him jumping. And then his tongue is going to be jetting out of his mouth across the screen. So, yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. And then I had my John Malin version. But, oh, I did, I think I did show you all the, uh, the cover for for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because, uh, I showed you all that, right? Yeah, I think I did. This is supposed to be the graveyard shift, but I don't know the sizes and of the characters in comparison to um, Rekka to the, the monster. And I was just going to have the Ruiner in the back um, making a threatening But being that he's like a Hulk type character, I'm going to change his position. And then I'm going to put all these guys are just going to be basically standing around. But now, being that I don't know the size relationship between the, the two characters, these two, the big guys... I don't want to be representing <laughs> John Millen's characters wrong, so I'm going to change it so that it doesn't matter. Uh, they're just going to be a compilation of characters on the screen. It don't matter. You can tell their, their sizes and from what their, their body types and stuff like that, but they're just going to be jumping around doing all in action. And then on the top, uh, the Ruiner is going to be there. So I'm going to keep doing You can see this guy right here. That's the uh, Mohawk dude. What's his name? Uh, um... I started shaping his face. Um, uh, tar pit, yeah. And then this is uh, Wrecker in the back here. And then this one right here next to him is going to be uh, uh, Brom. And then that's the girl here, Dracula there, and the Frankenstein monster here. So I'm, I'm working on that. And then I had these guys. I was working on one of my characters, this one. Is one of my characters. He's he's based on a bird type character. I can't tell birds of, a bird of prey type character. Uh, that's as much as I can give you. And I was designing him, and then I saw Mandy Summers uh, launching Super Dead, and I saw what John Malin did that cover for her. So I instantly put this line in here, and then a cross line going up and down, and I was gonna turn this from a into a super dead but he's too muscular he's too thick super dead is kind of skinny so i'm gonna I, I started over on a bigger page on a 11 by 17 and the same thing he's pushing over a cemetery headstone here and dragging down the cross over here and crawling out of the grave he just crawled out of there. there's gonna be mounds of dirt behind him he just crawled out you're gonna be able to see there's a dark hole that he crawled out of and yeah so and then his hair is going to be blowing and maybe lightning and it's going to be in the dark and all of that. So, yeah, that's what I did there. And this is the fight that I was going to be doing. Um, but this is a bad position. It's not the right position. See, his arm is up here. And he's supposed to be grabbing on his cape and pulling it over his head and punching him. And the cape is tight over his head. And he's kind of blasting a hole through the cape. And you'll be able to see his face and his lit up eyes. Uh, because the beams are going to be tearing through the cape and you'll be able to see his face as he's getting punched. So, um, but this is a bad position to show it in, so I got to turn the body. I, I tried three different positions so I can show that head, so I think I'm going to go back the other direction where Superbad is looking at this, in this direction, and pulling it uh, across from the bottom up, and you can see uh, um, <clears throat> Devour's face turned this way, and his eyes kind of blazing the beams more in our direction. So I'm going to redo that and turn it around. I'm going to do both covers and see what I can get. And then these are characters that I was working. These are some of my bad guys. I didn't intend, like I said, I was just doodling. But I, I like the way they look so great. I, I like the way they was coming out that I took and I created four of these characters. There's one, two... That's a bug-like character. There's three. And then there's... This one is garbage. And then there's four. And then there's five. So I created four out of the five characters. I drew them to their entirety. Uh, on a, on 11 by 17 boards. So... And they came out great. They came out great! So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you, I can't show them to you... They're my bad guys, and they're not they're not even going to be in the first book. But I have these characters floating around in my head for so long that I can't help it that they just come flooding out of my brain. I was intending to draw Might and, and, and uh, a bunch of the good guys. Those guys I want to show you. Might, uh, Quill, uh, Nightshade, and Legacy. Those are my lead characters in my story. So I wanted to draw, I have a drawing, uh, 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 
I have a drawing that I was working on, but I kind of not didn't finish it. But in order so that I could finish these guys, <laughs> because they were so prominent in my head, I had so much inspiration. And like I said, with everything I wrote up on them, I didn't, I didn't have any abilities. I didn't have anything for these guys. They just came flooding out. And as I was creating them, as I was drawing them, everything came to me. And I can't wait to fucking get into these guys. But that's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Especially some of them. I can't get, I can't even, just think. Think of Terax. Think of Apocalypse. Think of uh, 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 Dark Side. Think of characters like Thanos. Think of that type of characters, man. And uh, they're just crazy, man. And then the bug character, that's uh, it's not no ripoff from EVS or anything like that. I had uh, these characters I created for Here Comes the Pain wrestling game. So uh, And that was back on the PlayStation 2. So I uh, don't think that I'm trying to rip anybody off. I'm just very highly creative. I got multitudes of characters. Like I told you, I've got thousands of characters. Oops. I have thousands of characters and I'm going to be using them many as possible over the over these uh months to come. So I I'm going to get them into my story but they're not going to be flooded into the story and be all over the place and then disappear. No, they're going to be worked in at at a nice rate and y'all are going to love these guys. So basically that's all I wanted to show y'all. I wanted to show y'all that I haven't been sitting around here doing nothing. It's just been so hot. I'm up here in my attic, and it's been so hot up here. I don't want to burn out my computer. It's up here in the attic. I don't want to be running up my electric bill with um, um, a whole lot of uh, AC. So I'm just drawing downstairs in the living room. I've had trouble. My brother fell sick, and he's in the hospital now. Even though he's been a pain in the ass, he's still my brother. So... <laughs> I've had all kinds of issues and things going on, and I'm just trying to, here's my, oops, here's my might book, this is uh, the might of Thug City, this is, this is the book that I'm writing, all of my characters, all of my basic story stuff, well, not my story stuff, my character stuff, all of my character stuff is in here, my story stuff is in a, is in a, a binder book like this. All of my story breakdowns and uh, outlines, they're in stories like this. So you see how like you got all this stuff? That's all story stuff. But not from, not from, this is from some other story that I was writing. Like I got stories like that all over. You see all those boxes over there, those little boxes with the pink? All of those are books like this. <laughs> all of these are these composition notebooks. So, and here's my Bible. Here's my Bible. I'm going to do a, a video right after this. I'm going to load this video onto my computer. And then I'm going to do another video showing you the first page of my Bible. So that you know that I, when I said I have 10,000 possible characters, I do. <laughs> They're possible. They're not flushed out. They're nothing. But when I'm, when I pulled my characters out of here, out of my Bible, you see how thick it is? Three big books, three composition notebooks, and then I put them into this book. I got about 200 in this book, in, in this book from this book. These three books, you see, they tied together. So, yeah, I got them all tied together. This, yeah, they're one book because I turned it into that. Look at that, see, it's, it's tied together. See all that string I used to separate them. Remember where I left off when I'm reading through and stuff like that. I got all kinds of creation. I can't show you, but I got gangs. I got groups. I got organizations. I got kids. I got um, different uh, uh, countrymen, like from China, Russia, Germany. I got dudes. <laughs> so everything is in here. There's nothing I can't need in a comic book that I can't get out of my Bible. So that's what this is, and this is, and I have a, uh, let me see, you see, there's a box under there with a whole bunch, there's a box over there, that orange box, that orange box has like 10 different stories in it, both with these 
composition notebooks with names and all of the backgrounds and history. And then I have these binders that's behind it. All of these binder books that's behind them. So they're all stories lined up to be told. So, yeah, man. I'm here to tell my stories, and that's what I'm just letting y'all know that I've been doing, working on this last month that I've been MIA. Uh, I plan on getting back in. Somebody broke into my house. That's why I haven't been on late nights. Uh, I got to make sure. It's my fault. I left the window open and thinking I came up here, but they knew I was the only one in the home. And uh, that anybody, my brother stays locked away. They, nobody really sees him. So uh, they knew I was up here because I was on with Shane Davis on a, on a stream 2 o'clock in the morning. And they came through the front window and then ran back out the front door, leaving everything open. So when I got downstairs, I saw the front door open and my window was wide open. And, but they didn't take nothing. My games are down there, but I got so much art shit down there, clay and all kinds of stuff, boxes piled up, all kinds of garbage. It looks like shit down there, but uh, I guess that's why I didn't try to take nothing. So, But I got to be careful now. So uh, my dog is dead, so nobody to protect the house but me. So uh, I got to protect them. I dropped all my boards on the ground. So I'm going to call it quits for now. I just want you all to know that might is happening. Might is going to happen. I'm drawing my ass off. Uh, I can't show you all, but I'm developing specific stuff so that I can ink and color just so that I can show you guys. So be patient with me. I'm coming back with a vengeance.